In our daily life, we often wish to find answers to the following questions. Who are the students who are frequently absent from school? What is your attendance in different subjects? How many students secured more than 80 in mathematics in your class? What is the score of the various matches played during the Indoor Park series in 2006? To answer all these questions, we need information and the collection of these information is called data. In this chapter, we will learn about data handling, pictograph, bar graph. Now we will learn about data. Collection of facts is called data. The process of collection of data with a specific purpose is called statistics. Recording and organizing data. Let us consider an example. We make a list of the favorite subjects of the students of a class. We write the name and the subject liked by the student against their names as shown below. Here we will learn about data handling. If we want to know the number of students who like a particular subject, we can represent the above data in a better way. Write the name of each subject one by one, put a marble against the name of the subject a student likes, for example, for Sohail, put a marble against Maths, for Tia, place a marble against English, and so on. Now we learn recording and organizing data. Let us assume marks of 25 students obtained the following marks in mathematics in their half-yearly examination. The above data may be organized in ascending or descending order. Arranging this data in the descending order, we have a glance at these marks shows that the highest marks obtained are 88 and the lowest marks are 28. Also, we observe that 28 occurs once, 53 occurs 5 times, 70 occurs twice, 31 occurs twice, 56 occurs 4 times, 32 occurs once, 61 occurs twice, 33 occurs once, 64 occurs thrice, 74 occurs twice, 88 occurs once, 41 occurs once. 